I first would like to apologize for the bad lighting in this video. I meant to shoot it during the day and then I ended up baking all day. So now it's nighttime and this is when I'm filming this. Hi, Nola. Hello again from Vancouver, British Columbia. I am super excited to be doing this video in particular because it is something that strikes home to me and it is staying healthy during the winter, which this also can be used for just staying healthy anytime, especially when you're in school and you're around a lot of people, there seems to always be sickness going around. So this goes for pretty much any time of the year, but especially during the winter when there's a whole ton of crud going around. I am personally a huge germaphobe. I'm actually what's called an emetophobe, which is someone who has the fear of throwing up. Uh, so you can imagine how I react when there are people around me who are sick in any capacity. The first thing I do is probably one of the most common, which is vitamins. I take a lot of different vitamins. I used to take uh, a different type, but they don't sell them here in Canada. So I went back to the good old Flintstone gummies with extra vitamin C, because vitamin C is good for your immune system. So this has plus immunity support. So I take two of these a day. One of the biggest things that can help your immune system is elderberry. Elderberry is super full of antioxidants and is fantastic for your immune system. So I highly recommend elderberry tea, elderberry tablets. There's tablets called Sambucol, S-A-M, B-U-C-O-L that dissolve just straight in your mouth. I think they have a few other things um, as like a company, but I highly recommend that. But I take these black elderberry um, pills, basically. They're basically just um, capsules with uh, crushed up elderberry in it. Highly recommend taking elderberry of some kind, whether it be a tea, a tablet, a gummy, a pill, whatever it is. I also take these Goli uh, apple cider vinegar gummies. Apple cider vinegar is actually good for a lot of different things, um, but I, if I'm remembering correctly, um, the immune system is one of them. Um, they're really great for a lot of things. Uh, apple cider vinegar can actually solve a lot of problems. Uh, if you're having any issues with your body, I highly recommend just doing a quick Google search and seeing if apple cider vinegar can help because most likely it can. And then I take these uh, natural factors, vitamin C. There's literally just, it's 100 milligrams of vitamin, or 100, I can't read, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, um, which is good. Too much vitamin C though can be a problem, but this amount seems to do just fine, even with the little bit extra that's in here. Another thing I'm trying to get into is tea. I'm not a huge tea drinker, but chamomile tea, I have read, can be good for your immune system, and it's also good at calming you down, which I'm an anxious mess all the time, especially when it comes to sicknesses. So this is really great for me, and I sweeten it with honey, which is also good for you um, in moderation. Another thing is handy dandy hand sanitizer. I carry hand sanitizer with me everywhere. I do not eat until I put on hand sanitizer or wash my hands. Another thing that I use, not on a daily basis, but if I'm flying on a plane or if I'm in school and my classmates are sick is, my friend Caitlin got me this um, reusable mask. And so you basically put different filters in it and you use it as a mask, which is supposed to keep germs away. Um, also, if you are sick, it helps, you know, not spread your germs to other people. I know it's hard with being in school, but plenty of sleep is very important because without sleep, uh, your immune system can be lowered and you might be more stressed and stress actually lowers your immune system as well. If you're like me, there's not much you can do about that, but get plenty of sleep. That's very important. Other simple things are don't drink out of other people's cups. Uh, I don't care if they're not sick at that point, they may be sick but not be showing symptoms. Or if you're sick and you don't know it, then you could be passing it on to them. And it's just, just don't drink out of other people's glasses, cups, mugs, anything like that. Wash your hands before you eat or after you've touched something that's gross, like public transportation. Ugh, don't touch anything on your body until you've washed your hands or use hand sanitizer because sometimes it's hard to like get to a place you can wash your hands. But if you have some of this with you, this can at least help a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, my Instagram and my daily vlog channel are linked down in the description. Actually, I think I forgot to link my Instagram in the bottom one. I did. Um, it's here. Sorry, somewhere down here. I apologize about that. You can contact me anytime. Thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you for the next one.